Hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Libra love prediction reading for November 6th through November 12th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and so grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my peaceful, loving, kind, sweet Libras. Show me, spirit guides. What's going on, my Libras? Let's see, Libras. What you got going on? Show me, spirit guides. Let's see. Four of Cups, the Hierophant, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Oh, Libra. Huh, Libra. Somebody wants to marry you. Somebody wants to make you their wifey. But guess what? You're not down for it. I don't know what they've done. I don't know what has happened. But somebody wants to make you their wifey. But here's that four of cups in front of that Hierophant card. Hierophant can represent a Taurus sun sign. But that four of cups is in front of the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is about marriage, wedding, commitment. Someone wants to make you wifey. But guess what? I don't know. Your hands are crossed, you know? It's like you're not you're apathetic about it. You're not even excited about this. It's like I don't know that they want to make they want to build a family with you. This is someone that wants to build a family with you. They want the 2.3 kids, the house, and everything else, but something they have not done. Something you are not ready to be with them because they've not done something or they're not prepared. Now, when I see the Ten of Pentacles here, I think that their money's not on point. That's just what I think. I think that how, how are they going to take care of you and the family? That's what you're telling them because you guys are having arguments about this. This Eight of Wands is here. He can't keep a job. I, I don't think he can keep a job. Uh, and you're asking him, how on earth are we going to have a family and a life? How am I going to marry you when you can't even keep a job? You can't even keep me um, happy now. And when I say that, you're not even looking for someone with a whole bunch of money. You're just looking for somebody that shows up and shows up on time and all the time and can and has the potential to make uh, a family and to feed a family. This person's not ready. <laughs> this person's not ready. That's why you hear it. It's like you hear they, they keep saying, I want to marry you. I want to marry you. But you, it's like, wah, wah. It's ap you're apathetic to it. You don't care. It's like, I, I, you need to get yourself together before you step to me. Now, here's this Queen of Swords. You're even turning your back on what? That Queen of Swords is no joke. That Queen of Swords is even saying, look, I told you, we can't get married till you get your mess together. How are you going to take care of me and a family when you're all messed up? When you're, you, you, you don't have the uh, qualities to take care of me when you're not ready yet. Stop asking me. Stop. This, there's, there's, constant, there's, there's a spirited conversation going on about this because this person keeps asking, you keeps telling them no, and you're apathetic, and they don't understand why you don't. Why? It's, it's funny because I think that he just thinks that you're being mean to him because here's this queen of swords is a yes or no. Queen of swords is a yes or no girl. It's a matter of, a matter of fact girl. If she, she gets what she wants, if she says that this is not right and she's not going to do it, then guess what? She's not going to do it. And you are the queen of swords energy in this. And you're saying, I'm not going to marry you till you get your stuff right. It's, it's not that you don't love him because you do. But I'm not going to marry you until you know how to take first, take care of yourself, and then figure out how to take care of me and a family. That's what I want. And that's what I need. And that's what that queen of swords is telling him. So give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading because I just want to see what additional information the spirit guides are going to tell us about this relationship. What additional information? Why is it four of cups here? Show me spirit guides. Why is it four of cups here? Sit back, relax. Libra, let me see. Why is the four of cups here for my Libra? Show me. Why is the four of cups here? 
Oh, the Ace of Swords. That's all about the truth, baby. You have, you know, when you know the truth, when you know better, you do better. And that's what you're pretty much telling him. When you know better, you do better. I'm, you know, I can't um, consciously say that I can even think about marrying you. That's what you're telling him until you get your mess together. Because, you you know, you just it's just messy right now. And you need to get your mess together. You need to learn how to keep a job and stay with the job and, and, and know what it's like. Because if, how can I form a family with you? I can't do that. I can't do that. But, you you're, you're, you know, you your eyes are wide open when it comes to this person. And you understand that he loves you. You do. You love him back. But, no... You're not ready to get married yet. He's not ready. So let's see why the Hierophant card is here. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Hierophant card here for my Libra? Show me. Oh, three of Wands. So what you're telling him, the Three of Wands is looking into the future. There is no future right now because you can't keep a job. This dude is not able to keep a job. This Pentacles card in the middle, that's what you want. You want money. You want, you want to be married. You want to have a family. You want to be with him. But until he gets his stuff together, you can't see yourself having any babies with him. How? You can't take up a family, take care of a family. You got to get your mess together first before you even think about asking me to marry you. Matter of fact, I think it pisses you off that he even thinks he can step to you like that. When he knows that his mess is not, he's, he's, he's not together. He's not ready. He's not ready yet. So let's see why this Ten of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Look at that. Tower. Yeah, you, you know what? You're pretty much telling him you're ending, okay? Uh, you're pretty much telling him, you, okay, you, um, you're going to end this whole relationship if he doesn't stop messing with you. And I, I, well, I, I hesitate to say, but I think that you are going to end it. I do. I think you're going to end it because you think that he's delirious and delusional. And like I told you before, it pisses you off the fact that he thinks that he could even come to you when he knows that he's messy, when he knows that he doesn't have this stuff together. Why would you waste your time with him? And he has the nerve, the audacity to ask you, would you marry him? Really? No, you will not. You will not. Show me why the Eight of Wands is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Eight of Wands here for my Libras? Why is the Eight of Wands? And Libra, you're very kind, peaceful, and loving but you're not about to get caught up with somebody that don't have their mess together. Someone is, um, that don't have their, their stuff together. You're not about to bring babies into this world if somebody has not shown you what they can do. You're not going to do it. You're ending this relationship, that tower card there, um, because you're tired of him asking and you're not going to marry him. Not now. And you're tired of him asking. It's almost like I think you need to let him go so he can get his stuff together. So let's see why the Eight of Wands is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Show me. Ten of Wands. What did I tell you? All these burdens, these issues. That's what you're telling him. This reading is very upfront, very open. Look, you're telling him, you got too much mess. You got too much. You can't keep a job. You you know, you, you, you need to go figure it out. You need to figure it out because it's it's not it's not <laughs> I'm, I can't help you figure it out. I can't grow you up. You've got to grow up. There are so many issues that he has, too. It's not just it's not just the one thing. Well, the one big thing is, is too, is about the marriage. The one big thing is the fact that he doesn't have the money and he doesn't have a steady job. But not only that, he doesn't have a clear direction about which way he wants to go. He's got all these burdens. I think he also may have other children. I don't know. That's just what the spirit guys are telling me, that he also may have other children. He's not even taking care of them. He might have back child support. It could be anything. But he, I tell you what, but you're not going to get caught up with him. And you're letting him know because he keeps coming at you and you're letting him know, no, nope, I will not. I will not marry you. So let's see why this Queen of Swords is here. Show me spirit guides. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Show me why the Queen of Swords is here. Well, the Eight of Wands is there again. Thank you, spirit guides. When the spirit guides give you two of the same cards in the reading, that means they want me to reiterate that. You are having spirit. This conversation that you're having with him, you're having this with him. Again, over this Queen of Swords, you are telling him. You are not shy to tell him, no, I will not marry you. You need to get your stuff together if you owe back child support. Whatever it is, you need to keep a steady job. You have all these issues. You need to clean yourself up. Matter of fact, I think this is going to be a done deal. And you're letting him know because you you I, I, you want to be married. 
you want to be married. I think that's one of the problems, but his stuff's not together. He's not together, and you and you realize that. You realize that. Let's start at the beginning of Four of Cups here. You're apathetic. You're apathetic to this relationship. I mean, you're just kind of like, see, this woman has her arms folded. She just kind of really don't give a flip because this person doesn't have, whomever you're with does not have their it together. It's, you know, their it's not together. You know that. You're very uh, understand. You see that. You know that. You have clarity on that. You have clarity on that. And here's a Hierophant card here, which can represent a Taurus sun sign, but they want to get married. And so do you. You want a future, but you don't want a future with them because, like I said, they, they don't have their stuff together. And they really need to stop asking you because you're not going to be with them. Ten of Pentacles, that's what you want. You want the home. You want the family. You want the 2.3 kids, the dog, the cat. That's what you want, the money, the house, the home. You're not getting that with him because he doesn't have it going on. He's not, he, you know, he has too many issues. And I said that before. He may have other children. He might be caught up in child support. How are you going to take care of me and my kids, my babies, if you have these things? That's what I see you asking him. So I do believe this is going to be the ending of this relationship. But I think he just needs to go somewhere and get his stuff going on, get get his stuff together. Because the Eight of Wands is here and you, you're telling him repeatedly. You guys are having conversations, debates. It's, it's really nothing to debate, though, because you're, you're leaving him alone. You're moving on because you want what you want. You want a family, too. He wants what he wants, but you don't want it with him because his stuff is not together. And you're not going to risk your life or your babies or anyone else to be with him. Because here's that eight of wands here again over that queen of swords. That's you coming at him again. You're not holding back. You're letting him know what he needs to do and why he needs to do it and why you say no to his proposal. Give me three to five minutes. I'm, excuse me. Not three to five minutes. I just need, let me see what my oracles say. Show me, spirit guys, what do my oracles have to say about this relationship? What do my oracles have to say about this relationship? Show me. What do they have to say? Oh, straight out of the box, they say no. 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 That's what your proposal is. No. And the next card that's coming out, which is very, very true, is what you should do. It is what you're getting ready to do because that tower is in the middle of that reading. It's in the middle of that reading. You don't want a family with him. And it says, cut the cords. Cut the cords. And it's almost like I see it saying cut the cords because you almost take care of this man. And when I say take care of him, you know, you're tired of taking care of him. No, you're tired of taking care of him. You're cutting the cords and moving on to find someone for you. Someone that has their me their stuff together. Someone that's not just mess all the time. Someone, you know, you, you want someone for you. You want a family. You want to be married. You want children. But you know he's not it. He does not have this stuff going on. And then the proposal that he's given to you is a no. And that's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Libra.